Tonight, Luka Doncic and Trey Young, they square off on ESPN, and every time these two go head-to-head, -head, it's only natural, right, to look back at the 2018 draft night and a trade that has shaped these two franchises. So for more, here's Kirk Goldsberry. Welcome to the 2018 NBA Draft. In an era defined by superstar movement, the 2018 draft night swap between the Mavericks and Hawks is perhaps the most influential transaction in recent NBA history. Not only will it define two franchises deep into the 2020s, but it also was a watershed moment for the perception of international talent in pro basketball. Taking all the brilliance of Luka Doncic. In order to get Luka Doncic, the Mavs dealt their 2018 fifth overall pick, Trey Young, and a top five protected 2019 first round pick to Atlanta. The Atlanta Hawks trade Luka Doncic to the Dallas Mavericks for Trey Young. Speculation was immediate that the trade could be a risk for the Hawks. Nearly five years later, Doncic has become one of the best players in the world. The hits! You have got to be kidding me! While Young and the Hawks are struggling, they cross the halfway point below 500 and enter this week's high-profile game versus Dallas, teeming with drama. In the last month, Travis Schlank has moved from Hawks president into a more peripheral role, and reports suggest coach Nate McMillan has considered resigning following a tense exchange with Young at a game day shoot around. I think that's why Trey Young is so miffed right now, because a lot of this got out. Let's see if they can squash this and move ahead and go forward. Meanwhile, Doncic enters this matchup with Young leading the league in scoring and is among the betting favorites to be the league's MVP. On the way, hit it hard, rebound, batted around, it's taken by Luka, he hits, he hits! Young is not in that MVP conversation and his stats are sliding. He was projected to be the next Stephen Curry or Damian Lillard, but the reality is he's currently one of the least efficient three-point shooters in the NBA. Normally, the Trey pick would be considered a triumph. After all, he's already become an all-star and led this franchise to the conference finals. But this pick will never be judged by normal standards. Sure, Young is one of only two all-stars to come from that entire draft class. The issue is, Doncic is the other. Atlanta wasn't the only team to pass on Doncic. In fact, four of the top five picks were more traditional college prospects. But the Mavs have a statue and a banner that reminds them that European players can elevate a franchise. Almost five years after the legendary draft night swap, Dallas has an MVP frontrunner. Atlanta has a soap opera. So here's the tale of the tape between Luka and Trey thus far. Doncic has averaged more points. Trey has more assists. Luka has three All-Stars and three All-NBA teams. Trey has two and one. However, both of them have made one conference finals appearance. So that's how they stack up what the numbers say. For more on Luka and that trade, we bring in our front office insider, Bobby Marks. So who's your Western Conference trade primer? It's out right now on ESPN.com, Bobby. So looking back at that trade, it was almost five years ago. What stands out to you the most? I think Malika, what stands out is the challenges of building around a franchise level player like Luca. There are no players from that 2018 19 Dallas Mavericks squad on the current roster mm. right now. 11 out of the 14 players have been traded for or signed as a free agent here. And it's not for a lack of trying, right? We've seen Harrison Barnes and Kristaps Porzingis and Spencer Dinwiddie and Christian Wood all come through here. And I think it just shows you the challenges of trying to put the right pieces around, around him. Interesting. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the Mavs because our reporter, Tim McMahon, he reported today that sources say that Luka has strongly indicated that he wants the Mavs to upgrade before the February 9th trade deadline. What is a trade that you actually would like to see for Dallas? Well, the Mavericks are in a luxury tax, but they have a lot of these sweet spot contracts, which I call those 10 to $20 million players here. And I'm looking at Charlotte as a seller here, and I'm looking at players like Tim Hardaway Jr. and Davis Bertans from the Mavericks. They can trade a 2027 first round pick, put some light protection on that, hmm. and send that to Charlotte for a package sent around Terry Rozier, Kelly Oubre, and Jalen McDaniels. And I think that solves a little bit of everything, gives the Mavericks a little roster relief um, financially, 
gives Dallas another playmaker with Rogier and a shooter here, but that's the type of deals that you're going to have to look at if you're the Mavericks. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.